Good evening. I'm Father Charlie Mayer, priest in charge of the Sister Episcopal Parishes in Ossining. Welcome to our service of Compline for this Wednesday evening. The service is found on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, Lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. And now Psalm 134. Behold, now bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we turn now to just two verses taken from the epistle assigned for this day in the Daily Office Lectionary. Um, we continue in the letter to the Hebrews here, chapter 12, verses 14 and 15. Pursue peace with everyone and the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and through it many become defiled. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We're getting to the very end of Hebrews. And now our writer, whoever he was, is turning to some pastoral advice. And as is the case throughout this letter, he is not bashful about speaking very directly and unequivocally. And here he wants to make a simple but essential point that in life together as 
Christian people. Peace, holiness, and the grace of God are three essential components of life together in Christ. Peace, holiness, and the grace of God. And these are the things that prevent what he calls the root of bitterness. It's such beautiful, simple, true advice. If we truly seek peace, if we truly long for holiness, if we truly desire the grace of God, the bitterness that all of us humans are capable of will not be able to take root. And instead, the love of Christ will define our relationships and our life together. May it be so for us. Amen. We continue in the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. We continue in silent prayer. Now we continue aloud. We pray for Michael, Herman, Chris, Nora, Charles, Curtis, Sue, Jean and family, Charmaine, Jim, Marty, Janet, Rachel, Rebecca, Tess, Rebecca, Karen, the Camp family, Melanie, Tina, Carla, Steve, Rick, the Padovani family, Dawn, St. Andrews of the Valley, Patricia, Patrick, Kelly, Kathy, and Sandra. For our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Alfreda, Jan, Alexis, Todd, Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Tenku, Pablo, Marco, and Anthony, and for those who have died, especially Justin Luongo, Herb Parker, Andrew Silicato, and Richard Ross. 
Hear the prayers of your people, O Lord. Give us your grace. Give us holiness. Give us peace that we may live together in love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.